this ANN News Brief. Good morning, I am Lucy Adeyemi. A peace deal in South Sudan has revived hope not just that the guns will stop firing, but that economic stability can return. On Monday, we reported President Salve Kiyar and rebel leader Rick Marshall signed a ceasefire and power sharing agreement in the Sudanese capital, Khartoum. Sudan's government also said on Sunday all will be pumped from South Sudan's unity stage through Sudan for export from next month. Although previous deals have failed to end the conflict, now residents said they are desperate for this one to succeed. A resident said what people want is services, peace, their children to go to school, hospital security and clean water. Kerr said last week the new peace mediated by Sudan and East African nations will hold because it was not imposed by outsiders. He added all the deals had failed because of external pressure. At least three Burundian soldiers were killed and five others injured in an attack outside of the capital, Bujibura, over the weekend. Police and media sources said on Monday a truck with about a dozen soldiers on board was ambushed by an unidentified armed group while on their way to an army position in Rukoko. Three soldiers were killed on the spot and five others were injured. The region lies alongside a swampy area of the border of Democratic Republic of Congo, where huge national forces of liberation rebel, rebels are known to be active. We'll be back after this short break. gives 2,000% bonus for reactivating your MTN sale. That's right! If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right, 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. Health officials have said they will begin administering an experimental vaccine following the new Ebola outbreak last week. The drug was previously successful in containing an outbreak in the northwest of the country. Health officials from the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, said they will begin administering Ebola vaccinations in the eastern cities of Beni and Mangina, which experienced an outbreak of the disease last week. Officials say the experimental vaccine produced by drug maker Merck was successful in containing a similar outbreak less than two weeks ago in northwestern Congo. So far, 13 cases have been confirmed and three deaths registered. That's ANN News Brief. Thanks for joining us. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, annafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV, Instagram and Twitter at TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi. Good morning.